we are leaving in about an hour. I literally have not packed at all. I packed a ton of planners and boxes and all sorts of things, but not my own suitcase yet. Luckily, it's only two nights. I kind of already know what I'm wearing since it's New Year's Eve, but this is like my current situation in here and it is a mess. I don't, I can't live like this. Nope, not okay. All the sparkles though are coming with me. Um, I am like kind of crazy when it comes to traveling. I have to have the house clean, my bedroom clean, new sheets on. Like I want to come home and have it be pristine because I know I'm going to have to do laundry and all sorts of stuff after. Um, so I have my work cut out with me, for me in like one hour to get this all done. Ah. Yeah. All right, so we are doing some packing, like literally our plane leaves in like an hour. An hour. Oh well, we have to be at the airport in an hour. <laughs> You're right, not leaving. Yeah, that would be crazy. That'd be really bad. <laughs> How's it going so far? It's going. I have three backup outfits, <laughs> da, 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 just in case because this one straps keep falling off. I really like that one, but <laughs> <laughs> nipple covers. Um, I know. I think it'll be okay once it's on me, but they're not very secure. But it's so pretty. You just tape them all or something? No, no I'm probably not tape them. <laughs> and I got my pleather pants. Watch Woo. out. Woo! Coming in hot, San Fran. <laughs> and I got the nicest coat, you guys. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so soft. It's like a chinchilla. <laughs> but it's not probably. It's definitely not. It's not real. But it's oh, We lovely. love chinchillas. My friend had a chinchilla when we were growing up. I had up. friends with chinchillas too. Mm -hmm. I think we should get one. I, I feel mean, like that's a fun they're like, really sweet little animals. intro into a dog since we haven't made that leap yet. <laughs> Maybe a chinchilla. Yeah, just polyester. But it feels like magic. Boat below. Should we get a chinchilla? Or a dog. Um, a miniature English golden doodle has been on my radar for about three years now. We just haven't. We've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of busy, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Okay, <laughs> Like, really? Well, if I'm going to check it, I want options, and I'm already checking it, so I might as well go with the bigger one. Decisions. It's like not gonna even be that much colder than it is here, and Katie and I are like preparing for Arctic winter. <laughs> but we had to drop off your guys packages first there were so many of them i just i'm so excited for you all to get your planners because they're gonna make this year so much more fun i brought mine it is packed in my bag ready to start planning on the airplane Whew. and now we gotta hurry 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 yes. don't you love when we're cutting it close and we make it yes it makes me so happy i think i actually made myself sick because we were so rushed, I got so like stressed out. And then I also obviously get really nervous before flights anyway. So in the car I was like, Bleh. but I'm okay. I'm okay now. We haven't technically Fresh checked air. the bag yet, so we'll see if we really make it. Oh, we're making it. <laughs> He was like, he was like, do you have any lithium batteries? You know, like all like the security stuff. And I was like, nope, just lots of shoes. And he was like, okay. <laughs> this is how I like to start a trip. Yes. Um, the best feeling ever when you're rushing, you get there. And normally if your flight's delayed, you're annoyed. But not today, because we were so hungry. We didn't have time to eat this morning. We were going to get this to go. Well, you can't see it, but there's... We pretty much crushed it already. Just move it down here. Um, and a little champagne because flying out of Orange County is my least favorite thing to do because it goes straight up and then they cut the engines and it's terrifying. It's called noise abatement. I hate roller coasters, obviously. <laughs> I get so sick. It's like it feels like your worst nightmare of a roller coaster going up and like dropping. At least that's how it feels in the pit of my stomach. I don't think it's that bad, but I fly all the time. So this helps. <laughs> so starting to wish I would have taken our guy up on that second glass of champagne because he, the captain just said that it's going to be really bumpy. Gets so I get nervous when it's not It'll bumpy. Be like clean and be like this. Good thing you have on dark pants. So you won't see my sweaty hand prints on them. Don't 
ever touch the rail. And well, I want to go see the city first thing first. Gotta work out. Gotta work out always. Like anytime we go somewhere, one because even though it's a short flight, like obviously you're flying, and so it's good to like get your body moving again. Especially because Katie gets so tense on flights, she's like seriously tight needs to just loosen up. I like exhaust myself on flights because I get <laughs> so tense and wild. nervous. <laughs> it's bad. Um, so yeah, I need to go shake it off with a little workout, and then also because it's New Year's, and I know what's ahead, lots of champagne. Yeah. <laughs> and I already had one glass. I think we have an open bar from 9 to 11 at the oh, event we're going chair. to. What just happened? My whole chair just rolled out from behind me. See, you know, you always want wood floors in a hotel room. You're like, that'd be nice, but then your chair just rolls. No. I'll try to, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> try not to move. Um, yeah, so super fun party. Yeah, it is an open bar. That's okay though. It's a new. So Ryan is like the king planner always when it comes to music stuff. Like I always try to surprise him or think ahead or be on top of things that he doesn't know about. Fail every time. But Katie planned something really cool for oh, I tomorrow. Did. I'm not oh, gonna I did. tell you yet, but it's really cool. I it's was impressed. Really cool. I was like, this is a great idea. I was it's totally shocked up our alley. You didn't know I about no it. Idea. One, Ryan lived in San Fran for four years, five years? Four years. Four years, I guess college, four years. True. <laughs> You're a really timely college student. So he lived up here, so I really am surprised you didn't know about never, it. Well, because I usually wasn't up here during this time of year because I'd go home oh, for true. break and I was never here. So it's going to be epic and totally LSF style. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. It's going to be amazing. Um, but now we're going to go work it out. Hoppity Swag Guy 2.0, it's leg and booty day. Mm. But I'm going to like maybe do half, like do circuit one and then do abs because we're going to be dancing. The party goes till 4 a.m., right? Uh, it, it can. We probably, we may not stay till 4, right. but it's it's, it's going till 4. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want to like burn my legs out and not be able to walk or dance tonight. So we're going to do like a little modified 2.0 workout. Mm. And then fun dinner and party time. Yeah. This is a pretty cool little compact gym for... Being in San Francisco, they have all this different stuff that we're not really going to use at all. But um, they have like a virtual reality trainer here. But it like, doesn't really work that well. I mean, like, I get the idea of it. Like, you stand in this. It's Xbox. You can, like, wave at it. And it's supposed to have all these training programs. Cool idea. Better than that, but though. Your virtual trainer here. What about, I got a virtual trainer right there. Or this guy. Hey. No, but really, they got a lot of good stuff. So they have resistance section. They've got weights. They've got a lot of medicine balls. They've got benches. They've got cardio machines. Actually, big. Do you think you do have to? I'm gonna change them. Oh, you're gonna change them. My yeah. jeans are nice and loose. Earlier, I was complaining <laughs> that they had stretched out too much. Not mad about it now. My stomach's a little like whoa, but that's okay. I'm gonna dance. It's New Year's. It's okay. It's okay. The detox is not good. And now we're gonna go dance it off because yeah. our lift is coming. But the rice, like I haven't had greens like that in a hot minute, so I think my stomach was like, oh hello. <laughs> um, it's delicious. Like, weren't you doing keto? <laughs> I know. What happened? No. So. Um,
Safe to say we survived New Year's. We made it. Ryan's getting dressed. We're a little slow this morning, but I honestly like we had drinks obviously and everything like that, but I didn't like wake up feeling hungover at all. We had plenty of water, try to keep it really balanced. But I will say like the one thing that I learned last night after having delicious Spanish food and paella, my body and grains are not friends, especially out. So like I am at home and I follow the hot body meal plan and I really stick to it. I usually will sub out some of the grains in there just because with my hypo, I try not to have a lot of grains. So I'll sub out some of those for carbohydrates that are from vegetables like sweet potatoes and things. But at home when I have grains, I do like sprouted brown rice and I make sure it's like really, really sprouted and really well cooked. And you just can't do that out. So last night we had paella, we had some other bread stuff and my stomach was like in knots all night. I didn't let it stop me from having fun. Like I enjoyed the night. It was great. But then when I got home, like this morning, I feel puffy. My stomach still feels like weird. And I know it was that dang rice. So lesson learned when you're out and you're traveling to just like stick to things, you know, aren't going to mess with you because it's not really worth being on vacation and not feeling great and waking up puffy and like ugh, on New Year's Day, even though it wasn't like a hangover puff. But we're going to work it off today. I'm going to get it out of my system with the most fun. Hopefully you're not feeling too puffy based on what we're doing today. Cause... Oh, crap. You're right. Really big boxers. Oh. We're about to get very, very cold. Ah, I don't like being cold. cover my neon socks with tall boots because I was gonna wear my sneakers but then it was like neon sock chunk okay I think I'm ready as I'll ever be <laughs> these pants are way too big <laughs> okay All right, so we're doing the polar bear ice skate. There's Katie in a bathing suit. Apparently it's a contest. We didn't know this. So we're like rushing to get out there so we can be part of this contest. So. We only have like two minutes. Okay, we gotta go. All right, we are out on the rink now. Guys, this is so not abnormal that it's now a contest. Yeah, we definitely didn't know it was a contest, but hey, here we go. No, it's not. I want one of those. <laughs> We're gonna introduce our uh, contestants real quick and then we'll Ooh, that guy skates really well. Like a legit people plan for this, like costume idea. We just literally were planning to do this just like just to do it, but And I thought it was like just throwing a bathing suit. Apparently it's like a whole thing. Like I don't see Two years ago, we went to a party that Ryan told our entire group was like a disco theme party. So we all showed up in disco costumes. No one else was dressed up. It wasn't a disco so theme. So this is actually like the first time we're underdressed. Like people are in legit. I mean, I like her. Yeah, yeah, but we them are like, oh, bathing suits, cool. But like people are in costumes, right. like ready to bring it. So we're, we're currently being judged right now. Like, I feel like we're being, I don't know. And we're being judged for not having more of a theme. I have no idea. Next year. Our we're team our team name was the Burr Bears. Katie and I sure. thought of that on the spot. Sure. Really creative. I mean, thank God they gave us these hats. I know. Otherwise, we would have been so lame. This is worth it. This is a hat. <laughs> you wanted to buy these. I did. Too. I was going to buy one. That's how unprepared we were for this. I was going to yeah. buy the hats they were giving me. I mean, you. we literally planned to come to this the day before we left to come here. We had never heard of it, but cool. Here. Okay, we made some friends. <laughs> Hi. Did you guys know this was a contest? I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. But you really, they really brought the outfit. I mean, though. how'd you do all this then? <laughs> I mean, I didn't do anything. I, <laughs> I just heard about it. I was like, a polar bear ice? And you dressed up? Like, why not? That was it. All right, you guys got to see this guy's costume. It's awesome. All right, wait, wait, wait. Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. Yes. Tell us about what's going on. What's, what, what are you? What is it happening? It is a very beautiful day today. Just a spoonful of sugar, as you know. Amazing. Makes the medicine go down. Oh! Yep. Top 10! Katie's in the top 10.
Didn't win. Didn't win, but it's okay. We're getting ready to head out for the day, and I was thinking about all of the things that I do while I'm on vacation to try to help me stay in like normal track in my normal routine, because I think the hardest thing, whether you're leaving for like two days or you're gonna be gone two weeks, is sticking to your routine and not coming home feeling exhausted, bloated, like you like ruined all of your normal C's and like ate horrible and everything else. So there are things that like over the years I've just made like house rules for myself and for Ryan that I honestly think help us not only have a better vacation, but just help us be able to come home feeling really, really good. So I talked to you guys about working out. So we work out first thing when we get to a destination, unless there's some like crazy circumstances, but I love like, obviously if we're staying somewhere that has a gym, that's great. Our hotel room, I always bring my booty band so I can do hot body sweat guide workouts. And running while you're on a trip is another really cool way to not only get some workout or walking, whatever, but then also like be able to see where you at, where, where, see where you at, see where you're at and get like your bearings so you know what's around you. So the working out is super important. But then the nutrition part, obviously like if you're traveling somewhere with great food, you're gonna wanna indulge and you're gonna wanna like eat and drink and be merry and do all of the things, which we do. But for me, it's really important to make sure that I'm still kind of staying within my guiltless, guiltless nutrition and really just not going too crazy because you don't feel good. Like after I had that rice, like I didn't feel good and I don't like that feeling. So um, one of the things I do is still do intermittent fasting, which I've talked to you guys about. I'm not crazy strict and if there's a morning I wake up and my body is saying like feed me right now, I will. But otherwise, I bring my vital proteins with me, I put it in my coffee when I'm traveling, and then we work out first thing in the morning, and we don't really have food until noon or so. That also is really good because it makes sure that you're not having like Bloody Marys and mimosas at 9 a.m. when you don't need to be. So it shortens the window of time that you're gonna be eating and drinking, which at the end of the day will help you not have as many calories and extras, but also make sure that you get that workout in before you start indulging in other stuff. So workout first thing, I still do intermittent fasting, don't eat until like afternoon or so, and then I try to still stick within my normal food. So like, yeah, I'm gonna eat more tortilla chips if I'm in Mexico, or I'm gonna eat some pasta if I'm in Italy or Europe or somewhere, but I'm not gonna do it every single meal, and I'm not gonna like eat more than I normally would. So I keep my portions normal, I still make sure I'm getting plenty of fats and proteins so that it's just like normal. Like I don't go crazy and I don't feel horrible and I have my drinks and that's okay, but I keep them clean still. Maybe I have like one that's like a specialty cocktail and then I go back to tequila sodas. Um, and it's kind of simple, but you just have to like make sure you're thinking about it and like being diligent and you can still have a great time on your trip. It doesn't mean like you're gonna be like str stressed out and boring. I don't know what just happened there. Stressed out and boring, but like, you're just gonna end up feeling better and you'll be able to do way more on your trip and not be bogged down with the stress of like, ugh, when you get home feeling like garbage. So we worked out this morning, we're getting ready to head out and get some breakfast. So I'll show you guys kind of my normal eat on vacay. Well, because it's like doughy, I don't think it's probably gonna be great for my stomach, but we're gonna give it a try. 
Here we go. And tip. There's like all this stuff, and then there's just like meat inside. So like I want a little bite of this to try it, but most of the time people would eat all of that, and that's just too much. Don't need it. Mmm, it's so good. Yeah? That, like, I just could eat the meat, the Joe stuff, whatever. The meat's so flavorful. Ooh. Yeah. So if you want a good dumpling and you're in San Francisco, mm -hmm. we now recommend check out Out the Door. Katie drinks a lot of coffee, as you know, if you follow her on Instagram, but I actually don't drink any coffee, so he in these just, situations, I'm just like... I need to get your shirt that says, like, I woke up like this, because he <laughs> wakes up like, ping, energized, like, ready to go. I'm not a morning person or anything. It's no, not like you're I wake not. up, like, super no, 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 early. No, you don't need anything to, like get going nope. I try here's the thing I try at home to only do like one of my coffees and then do like matcha or something else if I want more caffeine or want more whatever during the day but when we're traveling like I already had my coffee with my vital this morning but like blue bottles so good and there's not really one in Orange County there's definitely not so when I see it I'm like I'm on it all right now we gotta find somewhere to eat food 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 a restaurant around the corner maybe outside yeah, I can do that. Um, that's not good. No, it's downside to being a holiday. <laughs> it's not a holiday, though. I know, but like around the holidays. So here's the thing. This is real life. We don't really have time to like find a new restaurant to go sit down at, da da da, because we have to catch a flight soon. 10.30. So, I mean, that place is full of food. We can find stuff. It's all gonna be delicious. It might, it might not be our like perfect egg white omelet like, and spinach, but this is life. Found a new place. Yes. No. Yes. No. Unsure. It's a cheese roll. Um, I don't have any egg on it, so. <laughs> okay, strike that. <laughs> the only places open were either cheese shop, a bread shop, an oyster place. Or a cheese bread and oyster place. Yeah, and so we're just not feeling it. It's like, it's not, it's still kind of breakfasty. I wasn't totally ready for oysters at 11 a.m. Here's the spin. We're just gonna go to the airport a little bit early and show you guys how to find food in an airport. There we go. Good, how are you? Now we're so early for our flight, Kitty's. Really I'm happy. so happy. It was weird that you were like, let's just go to the airport early. Oh, well, I'm starving. I know, but normally <laughs> I have to like fight you to get early. I like be like, our flight's at 12. But I think it's just like deli or like. We may not eat there because we ate there on the way in, but Vino Volo, oh, so, so good. good when you travel. Good travel. Oh, there's going to be sushi, but they have like artichoke. So like we're clearly not getting breakfast today. <laughs> Straight really to lunch. Like There's definitely a, like places like plenty of healthy options, but then like when you're like feeling picky, it's a little harder. Like I wanted eggs, not happening. But <laughs> I don't know. Now my priorities are like I want some greens and I want some protein. So either Vina Bolo or this place had like lamb meatballs, and I just have to check if they're gluten free or not. The lamb meatballs, and then there's like salads and stuff. What are you feeling? All right, so we landed on Kat Cora's kitchen in San Francisco. You said she's an iron chef, right? So that's note number one is good. There's a couple of things I look for when we're looking at menus. One, obviously if they have gluten-free options, just because, again, I'm not like 100% gluten-free, but when you're eating out, I really try to be because I don't know what they're putting in it if it has gluten and stuff. So that's one. She has a lot of like really healthy options and they do Seafood Watch with Monterey Bay, which if you guys live in California especially, you're familiar with this, but it's really important to check like, where you get your seafood and the Seafood Watch. So you know that little card I have that has like all the different, like if it's sustainable or if it's endangered or whatever. So they work with them, so that's good. I don't want seafood, but if I did, <laughs> I'd be stoked because you know that it's all like good stuff to get. I might what have to say? get some sweet potato fries. Oh. <laughs> um, so I wasn't planning on having a drink because we're heading home, and I was like, this is my like healthy. 
But Ryan just told me we're flying first class, which means I'm gonna have champs on the plane, and maybe I have one now. All right, so obviously this is a little bit nicer of a restaurant, so it's easier to find those healthier options. But even if you're just running around through the airport, you need to grab something. A couple things that I always try to look for are one, vegetable and protein based things. So like a um, turkey lettuce wrap, like something like that, that you're gonna be getting just like clean ingredients. Again, like especially with any digestive issues, I don't know, the last thing I want is to have like a bunch of tortillas and different stuff that I like don't know where it's coming from. So um, most most airports now have like a healthy like market type place that's like organic or um, like either vegetarian or vegan places. So really trying to find stuff that's fresh ingredients, especially if it's like a low local restaurant that you know is like something that's in the city that you're in, not like a Burger King that you can find anywhere. Okay, seriously, this is so funny. Ryan was talking about them and we're like, we don't need them. We'll have one glass of champagne and share it. This hour would be better and we don't need sweet potato fries. But I think she heard us talking about them and she brought them, which is like the nicest, not nicest thing in the world. Okay, we have all <laughs> Well, this was a bonus, so imagine yeah. those weren't there. I'm gonna eat this first, so I avoid eating that. Those look really good, though. Yeah, like the salad turned out really good. Totally. And this one I'm talking about, the artichokes, like grilled with some olive oil, I'm just gonna put the lemon. You don't need that. Good to go. I mean, it's not like crazy different, but it's nice. It's roomy though. I like it. My goal is to like go to Europe in one of the cocoons where you can just sleep and you don't know what's happening. You don't have to worry about flying. Just a little bit. One day. Life goals. Okay, so before we take off, I want to tell you guys that you've been asking for this for a while. We've been kind of playing with it and officially starting this week, we're going to be doing a vlog Thursday. So every Thursday, Myself or me and Ryan are gonna be vlogging, so comment below, let us know what kind of stuff you guys wanna see, like obviously beyond just traveling. I'm really excited. Yeah, we're gonna try to like do whatever we can to give you Katie's opinion on, you know, like healthy ways to do pretty much life. <laughs> healthy so, ways to do life and still have fun. <laughs> so hopefully it's like really useful for you guys and you can see more of our life too. We're just gonna take you along on a lot of the stuff that we do just every day or if we're going somewhere. And uh, we're excited about it, it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. So every Thursday, every Thursday is what we're going to try to Thursday, do. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Right. <laughs> like a monster truck show. We're going to try to do it every Thursday. So every Thursday, look for a new vlog episode. You'll still have the normal videos on Mondays. Yeah. Um, Two loves what videos a week. So if we don't do Thursday, come yell at us to make sure we do it. Yeah.